uh, George Forbes. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Oh, my last one. Lucky last, I think. Yep. Thank you very much for the opportunity to make this short verbal submission. I oppose the proposed plan for an excess residential water supply charge. Otatahi Christchurch is New Zealand's garden city. Flourishing gardens and green spaces are a critical component of a healthy community and environment. Green spaces, including those that are residential, give the garden city its title. I believe that Council's policies should proactively encourage more green spaces, and logically that means active, sensible water use. We have here a uniquely water-rich city, and whether for ourselves or for the green environment around us, our residential use of water here is generally good use. I am concerned about the presentation and use of statistics by Council in the long-term plan consultation document. There is a bias towards this proposal and a risk that the bias unreasonably and unfairly skews the proposal information. This largely flat and water-rich city is quite different in many substantial ways to cities such as Auckland, Wellington and Dunedin. We are hugely fortunate in that regard and we should not pin ourselves disadvantageously to similar methodologies introduced by others who bear little practical resemblance to this city. I've set out some specific examples in my written submission. This proposed new charge, as formulated, appears in reality to be a gardens and families tax in this garden city. I strongly believe that this proposal risks residents becoming hesitant about planning, developing and maintaining gardens of the city, and additionally, any household with 2.8 people or more using average quantities of water each per day will come under the proposed taxation regime. It's not encouraging of a city that wants families to be a vibrant part of its growing community. My submission is that this new gardens and families tax would only be another unfair tragedy for the people and for the environment of this great garden city. Thanks very much. Thank you. <coughs> um, yeah, thank you for the, all of that. Um, questions? Sam. Um, thank you, George, for coming in. Uh, can you just maybe touch on the, you talk about the data and the presentation uh, in the LTP document that was potentially biased or, you know, uh, skewing one way. What, what did you mean by that? Quite a chunk of the data, I understand, comes from Water New Zealand, which is a, a different and independent body. There's been a pick and mix of the use of that data. And in addition, what I really mean by that is some of the presentation of figures are done on an almost apples and apples comparison, as if Christchurch had the same uh, elements to it than any other city. But I don't think you can compare Christchurch on an apples and apples basis for somewhere like Auckland, which has a water supply shortage when we are, in fact, a water-rich city. Mm. It's the infrastructure that causes us the issue rather than their mm. supply. Yeah. It, it is about the infrastructure. We're not talking about charging for water. We're using it as a... But it's only the water that is that goes through our infrastructure. It's, we're charging for the infrastructure use, not for the water itself. Mm -hmm. Well, you will be charging, I understand, for the use of water if you use more than the... Yes, so the volumetric charging is... Is, is designed to pick up this um, excessive use. Perhaps on infrastructure. Um, well, yeah, and, and that's the debate. And, yeah. and you are quite right to point out that we need to really reflect on the quality of the um, data. input data. Yeah, the data that we're <laughs> contemplating if we're going to compare apples with apples rather than what you're suggesting, apples with pears. You're right. The use of the word excessive is entirely subjective, and I yeah. would concur with you that the data does need to be re-examined. Yeah, and we will examine the data, um, and but we also do need to th think about the infrastructure. And you've suggested that there's another way of addressing that. So um, specifically, well, I, I, I've I've asked that this that you as a council look at other options other yeah. than mere taxation. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. That was a good note to end on. Thank you very much.
All right, thank you um, everyone, and I will adjourn this meeting until...